torture will go on. Have a look at this. Some very stern faces there as they leave the ground. Melbourne supporters have gathered around the race. And this is very, very unfortunate. Words being directed towards the players there as they leave the ground. And this is not a great sight if you're a Melbourne fan. Dean Bailey staring down the barrel at his own slice of unwanted history. Oh, he's done it. He might be oblivious to it, but the crowd know they've kicked 37 goals. They have equaled the all-time goals record in a game. Melbourne out of finals contention, yet into the history books for all the wrong reasons. Another horrible footy season for the Melbourne Football Club. It was us, and you could actually see it coming a long way out. At the final break, the lead was out to 86 points, and there was no respite. Just working it out his head. The rest is history. A horror show for the Melbourne coach. The Swans cruising to a 101-point victory. Not a good chapter in Melbourne's history. Flicks it to Siebel. He burst through. I've been brushed aside easily, Melbourne. Just a leaf on North Melbourne's freeway this afternoon. Melbourne's hasn't come yet. It'll come Sunday night at about 6 o'clock <laughs> when the final siren sounds on their last game. Clearly not good enough. The on-field results this year have been unacceptable, well below the expectations that we would have had at the beginning of the year. Uh, it's not only the fact of, of one win for the year, but it's also the scale of the losses. The board uh, decided that uh, Mark Neal would, uh, would, should not continue as coach of the Melbourne Football Club, and that that decision should take effect immediately. And that's their first priority next year, find a way to be competitive. At the moment that he put the curse on, everything went wrong for the team. The letter produced the bombshell that his appointment as coach of the strongest football club in the history of the game was cancelled now from that day. Is there any hope? I just want improvement in skill. Because you can't put a game plan in place, you can't uh, have players taking risks from the back half, running to create if you continually miss. I would like to officially welcome Paul Roos to the Melbourne Football Club as senior coach. Take it, ball still alive, Edison close to the line to ice the game! Melbourne finally are winners! The Demons are thumping have been often and victories rare in recent times but this afternoon the Demons fans can go home and sing as loud as they want Cross, Adi Hadar, Salem and this the biggest moment of Salem's life listen to the crowd it's all scale this a one point I felt I could teach players you know, what long-term success looked like, and that was really the goal from day one. Oh, one! It was all about Essendon coming in, but it's all about Melbourne now. The Paul Ruse resurrection before your eyes. Why do we sign up? interesting year for us during the transition year between Simon Goodwin and Paul Roos so we want to make sure that that ends up being as smooth as possible. So some changes we're making is we're, our focus is going to be on our game style. I think we, we had improved in a lot of areas uh, but we have to continually work on our ball movement, stoppage and, and defensive work. Player number 214220 Christian Salem. Pick two Melbourne. Player number 214953, Christian Petrarca. Finally, there's some genuine young talent coming through. Pick three, Melbourne. Angus Brayshaw. Petrarca, Viney, Brayshaw, Oliver, all coming through. Clayton Oliver. Kaziah, Cropper, Pickett. 
Luke Jackson. It's time to walk the walk, really, and uh, stop teasing. Yeah, well, these comments have certainly put Simon Goodwin on notice, as you said. So I understand he is by no means secure to keep his job beyond this year if they don't play finals. Now, they'll shock you at times, beating Hawthorne, but then they'll dip back down. I'm sick of those years. Now, Josh Marnie, the head of football, is also under pressure, and the players are absolutely under pressure as soon as this Wednesday night against the Adelaide Crows. And it's time for them to put up or we'll shut up next year. Still goes to the top of the screen. Big fly for Oh, and there it is over the back, just reaching the ball it was Jackson. The handball target, Petrarca. Which target does he want? Fritz will do. Open goal, strolled away from Dune. Big hit, he was gone. That is the best performance by any team this year. They're unsocial. They're a midfield that is built to win a premiership. It's a massive win for that group. I reckon that is a, a, a changing of the guard type of win. A true benchmark of sustained effort and that classic coming of age. They found a way to win and uh, I think probably their best win in the last 10 years. That is unbelievable! Now hinges on this kick. Kent kicks the goal. Melbourne will play finals, I reckon. As well. Great work. So Kent directly in front. Umpires told him to go. His time's running out. Oh, very close to the man on the mark. Long ball. It's a goal. Will this see Melbourne into the finals for the first time since 2006? That's and exactly right. Told to go. But the heartache of 2017 is replaced by sheer joy. The Demons will be part of September. It's the mark. But it was labelled D-Day for the Melbourne Football Club. That made it. They're in September. And they've done it in spectacular days. For his 26th goal of the year, no problems. Melbourne fans, as he points to the jump. Might be the fairy tale story of September. It's been their night. Melbourne had beaten Geelong in the elimination final. On their way to the semi. Just wait for this. Wait for this now. The sure went and found it on the ground, gave it to Jones. That's out of bounds, but there's your siren. The West Coast Eagles are through to the 2018 Grand Final. We'll leave it like what we saw last night. I'm more stunned what I've just seen then. Mental capitulation. Your team, our team, hasn't turned up, and that's what you cop in this game. If you don't turn up with intent, if you can't fundamentally handball under pressure, Dermot, in a prelim against a quality side like West Coast, you get your backside handed to you, and they're copping it right now, and they deserve to. Who the pressure's on this year? Is it Simon Goodwin? Absolutely. The, the pressure this year is firmly, is firmly on Simon Goodwin. Uh, if they don't make finals, uh, I'd, I'd suggest he won't be there next year. I've got them just outside the alley. Oh, my word he is! Melbourne had taken more intercept marks than Fremantle had taken actual marks in the game. Back ball Hunter, another debut on last week. Good slide, pick it, look at the moves, look at the twist, look at the turn! Cozzy! He's got dancing beats off the metric. The Demons. Start 2021 with back-to-back -back wins. It's in there, Neil Bullen. He can make the ball talk. Alex Neil Bullen. Going to have to maintain position. Oh. What a risk here because Pickett's in the vicinity. He slides in. He mops it up. He spins and he kicks a goal. Here in a big way. But today it was about the Demons. And they have had a massive win. Can from here. Very narrow margin for Aaron. Look at the strike on it. Couldn't have hit it. Been challenged. They held their nerve and then they blew them off the park. The D's go six and over for the first time since 1965. And Nathan Jones, 300 games. Players, now it's Tomlinson. He's, he's hurt. He's got the hand up too. Melbourne are eight zip, undefeated in season 2018.
2021. If they are nine and zero for the first time since 1956. Melbourne Footy Club. They are on top of the ladder and in really good shape for a top four spot. Jake, great work, but stay to get in there late. Cosie Pickett dribbles it through. They have put their foot down Melbourne. They could not have done any more, or could not have been any more impressive, so yeah, it's exciting. You need to be able to execute your role no matter what that is, and buy into team defence. Melbourne Cut fans on, are on. starting to believe the Demons win their 13th of the year. Tonight they'll sit on top. They find their best again. That is a well-earned victory for the Western Bulldogs. They've taken down the number one ranked team in the competition. Give him something to cheer about. Gorn goes the banana. Oh! Gorn and the boundary, the best of friends. They put the competition on notice. They can pile on a score if they need to. And they won this one by 98 points. This is unheard of against this Melbourne defence. Ten goals in the first half. He's got his man underneath to Henry. Good enough to score from here. Bailey French almost run down. Kicks the goal. A red and blue jumper. Lever, happy to take a little off. Let's go! Takes the mark, 20 metres out, what is going to the left. And it comes down to this. Not since 1964. One kick. And Melbourne... A minor premiers, just like that. Try and script it, try and write it, try and believe it. It's happened. What do you believe about the demons? First half was the second half. You're going to win the premiership this year in the AFL. You're going to have to go through Melbourne. Ben Brown in front, fisted away. In fact, he got in front and centre. Ben Brown, that's where he was. Cast in the role of a rover. First goal, Melbourne. He's their present, he's their future. And this might deliver him into a prelim final for Draga. The siren will sound. And it's Melbourne straight through to a prelim final. Excitement, the energy, the expectation. This could be the year. And, and this style of footy is finals formula footy. And daring to dream indeed. Why wouldn't they? By himself, Gorn touched. He would have seen it. Happy to keep rolling this time. Max, the skipper, on the run, around the corner. They've got eight. Still the third, and here comes Petrarca again, full of confidence. Handball inside to Gorn. 55 metres, takes out the driver, sets sail for home. It's unbelievable. You don't see Ruck do this. This is, this is crazy. Trick in sport. Have a look at this. Another one for the Demons. It's Max Gorn. He's got four. And the Demons move a step closer to a grand new flag. Melbourne, into its first grand final in 21 long years. This really feels different. This feels like Melbourne's time. Who is going to totally commit themselves to this grand final? You've got to take the emotional risk to be great, knowing that you might not get there. Someone will get a chance. They're going to play one game in 28 days. It's been the hardest week of my life. One will break the other. They're dog hungry. I'll dedicate everything to be able to win this flag. It will be a grand final for the Dreamers. Oh, I hope it gives you goosebumps. Side for 50. That's just in front of Petrarca. He turns, he steps, he goes! Three on one, three on two. In they come off hand. 
to Jackson. Goal coming up, Demons. Spargo dribbles it through. Trelaw with the snap. Perfect start, Dogs. Petty got to walk through. Trelaw again. Two in the turn. Porter under the favourite foot of Bonapelli to Joe Anderson. Couldn't mark. Norton beautifully off the deck. The spin and kick. He starts on goal. a tackle to Bontempelli, the superstar on the left, he's got a third! Daniel and Goliath collide! Through came Smith, half now, long one in his face, French hit, the best position possible, Billy French, two on the night, now he's got three. Here they come, Petrarca!